Good day, learners. My name is Dimpo Rampora, and today's lesson is on the practice and application questions on the Earth position in the solar system. Now, let us look at the practice questions. Let's look at question one. It says to us, why, how, sorry, how do plants use light energy from the sun? How do plants use the light energy from the sun? Remember, the plants use the light energy from the sun for the process of photosynthesis. So we can say for photosynthesis, photosynthesis. This is how plants use the light energy from the sun. And it's through photosynthesis, plants are able to grow and develop. So through photosynthesis, photosynthesis, plants are able to grow and develop. And develop right and this is how the plants use the light energy from the sun remember when we said for photosynthesis we actually mean that remember to make food so plants are able to make their own food for growth as well as development so so for growth and development okay so let's see what i wrote here through photosynthesis, plants are able to grow. Oh, okay, so there's no need for me to put that. To grow and develop. So this was fine. Now, question two says, how do animals use energy from the sun? Now, the animals use the energy from the sun by feeding on plants that have their energy from the sun. They also um, get the, use their energy by feeding on animals that have eaten plants. So let's write that down. So they feed on plants. And we can also say they feed on animals that have eaten plants. Eaten plants. And they also use the oxygen that was released during the process of photosynthesis for respiration. So they use oxygen released during photosynthesis for, so it must be photosynthesis. So they use oxygen released during photosynthesis for respiration, respiration, to release energy, all right? And this is how animals use the energy from the sun, right? Let's move on to question three. Question three says to us, give two reasons why the sun is important for life on earth. The sun is important because it is the main source of energy. So let's write that down. It is the main source of energy, meaning that all plants and animals depend on the sun to have life on earth. On earth, I mean. Right. And then the other reason is that the sun is also important for photosynthesis. Because, guys, without photosynthesis, let's just forget. There's no life without photosynthesis, all right? So everything, when we talk sunlight, we talk photosynthesis all the time. So for photosynthesis, okay. So once photosynthesis is okay, then plants and animals are able to, to live their lives, all right? Now let us go to question four. Question four says to us, state three states of matter during the water cycle, okay? We know that water can exist in three states during the water cycle. It can exist in solid form. And here in solid, we can say ice is an example of how water can be in a solid form. The other form can be in liquid, okay? 
Water can be in liquid. Where do we get the liquid from? From the rivers, the oceans, the lakes. So we can write rivers, oceans, and lakes. This is where we can get our liquid water, right? And then what other state of matter is there? The last one is the gas state, okay? The gas state of water, we find it in water vapor. We find it in water vapor. Remember, when do we get water vapor? During evaporation in the process of the water cycle, all right? Now that we have looked at the practice questions, guys, I hope you have writing down somewhere, you've been correcting yourself. Now let us take an air break, and when we come back, we will look at the application questions. <laughs> 